So there are no set rules when it comes to creating a musical, but having a roadmap to follow can be very, very beneficial to creating a meaningful, entertaining and satisfying story for audiences. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be using a story arc called The Hero's Journey, which will help me structure the story and develop all the background information. So when thinking about the time and the setting, the time is going to be the late 18th century, specifically around the 1780s to the 1790s, which is during the early stages of the Highland Clearances. And our setting is going to be a picturesque village nestled amidst the rugged terrain of the Scottish Highlands. And the village will comprise of several stone cottages with thatched roofs grouped around a central green where communal activities can take place. And sheep and cattle can graze in nearby meadows with a backdrop of towering mountains and dense pine forests. The next step to develop in the story was looking at the daily life of our protagonist. And our protagonist is going to be a guy called Lachlan. So Lachlan manages a small croft, which is a unit of agricultural land, which is usually a few acres, which is used for subsistence farming. And on this land, he cultivates crops like oats or barley and potatoes. And he also keeps a couple of animals such as chickens. He might have a cow or two to provide him with milk. And his daily routine involves tilling the land, tending his crops and taking care of his livestock. Lachlan's skills, well, the skills needed for crofting are quite diverse. So Lachlan is adept at both traditional farming techniques and his understanding of the rhythm of the seasons. He's proficient in basic animal husbandry, which helps him to ensure that his livestock are healthy and well cared for. Community is also a huge part of daily life. So as with other villagers, Lachlan's crofting activities also, they, well, they quite often require communal effort, especially during sowing or harvesting seasons. And this mutual support deepens the bond within the community. When it comes to land ownership, Lachlan's craft has been passed down through the generations. And while he works the land and derives his sustenance from it, it was common for the land's title to be held by a distant landlord. And this was a common arrangement in the Highlands and it sets the stage for the conflict over the evictions. There are many challenges, so crofting is hard work and it's at the mercy of the elements. Bad weather or pests can impact crops and ensuring food security, especially during the winter months, is a constant concern. And then there are traditions. So traditions are deeply rooted in the land. Lachlan is in tune with the age old farming rituals and traditions. He respects the land, not just as a means of his livelihood, but as part of his ancestral heritage. So within Lachlan as a crofter, the story gains an additional layer. His connection with the land is not just occupational, but it's deeply personal and ancestral. And this amplifies the stakes when eviction threats loom, as it's not just about losing a livelihood, but it's also about severing a multi-generational bond with the land. So let's have a look at some external influences now. <clears throat> the first one is trade. So the village occasionally interacts with neighbouring villagers or traders from the lowlands for exchanging goods and news. And the second is rumours. So there, there has been increasing rumours about landlords and their changing attitudes towards traditional Highland ways, as well as the looming threat of clearances for the sake of more profitable sheep farming. 
This everyday world establishes a strong contrast to the coming changes, highlighting the deep-rooted traditions and bonds of the community that will be challenged by the impending evictions. So let's think about Lachlan now and what makes him an interesting character. So Lachlan, I've envisioned him as offering numerous characteristics that would captivate an audience. And the first one is his deep rooted connection to the land. His bond with his craft cultivated over generations speaks to themes of heritage, identity and belonging. In an increasingly industrialized and detached world, even during the Highland Clearances era, Lachlan's intimate relationship with the earth is both nostalgic and aspirational. The next interesting fact or interesting trait in Lachlan is his strength and vulnerability. So Lachlan embodies the ruggedness of the Highlands, displaying resilience and determination. However, beneath this robust exterior lies a vulnerability, especially concerning his family, his love interest, and the future of his home. This duality makes him relatable and compelling. Our next character trait is his moral integrity. So facing the threat of eviction and the breakdown of his community, Lachlan grapples with moral dilemmas. His journey of navigating these challenges, often prioritising the collective good over his personal gain, showcases his profound ethical compass. His next trait is his cultural anchor. So through Lachlan, the audience can get a glimpse into traditional Gallic culture, whether it's singing a traditional ballad or partaking in age old rituals. Lachlan serves as a cultural anchor, highlighting the richness of Highland traditions. Then we have his dynamic relationships. So Lachlan's interactions with other characters, be it his camaraderie with his peers or a budding romance with his love interest and the potential confrontations with our antagonist, these deepen and add depth to Lachlan's character. And these relationships not only move the plot forward, but also provide insight into Lachlan's complexities. Then we need to consider Lachlan's personal growth. So as the story unfolds, Lachlan's character evolves. He moves from being primarily a crofter concerned with his daily tasks, and he transforms into a community leader who's willing to resist the external threats. And this arc of personal growth and realization, coupled with the challenges he faces, can make for a gripping narrative. And then we have his universality in specificity. I can't say that word, sorry. <laughs> so while Lachlan's life is deeply rooted in the Scottish Highlands, his struggles and aspirations are universal. The themes of home, identity, love, loss and resistance resonate across cultures and eras, making Lachlan a figure audiences worldwide could connect with. So in essence, Lachlan serves as a bridge between the past and the present, the specific and the universal, and the individual and the collective. And through his story, audiences could explore broader themes of humanity, making him an intriguing and timeless character. So that's all well and good, but what makes him unique? Well, he's his earthen intuition. So Lachlan is set against the backdrop of the Highland clearances. He has an uncanny ability to read the land. He can predict weather changes by observing subtle signs, and he knows exactly when to sow or harvest for an optimal yield. And Eve, you could even call it a kind of sixth sense about the well-being of his crops and his livestock. He is also a Gallic bard. So Lachlan, inspired by his ancestors, he's not only a crofter, but he's also a local bard. 
he can compose and sing ballads that chronicle the history and legends of his people. And this talent deepens his connection to his heritage and reinforces his role as a cultural custodian. He also has strong mediator skills. So despite his initial reluctance to be a leader, Lachlan has a knack for mediating conflicts. He possesses an empathetic understanding of people, which allows him to navigate disputes within the community, and this makes him an unintentional peacekeeper. We also have ancient rituals. So from his grandparents, Lachlan has learned ancient Gallic rituals and ceremonies, some of which have been forgotten by most. And he performs these rituals, connecting him to the spiritual and mystical aspects of the Highlands. To support this, he has a secret haven, which so Lachlan maintains a hidden glen, known only to him, where he retreats during challenging times. And this sanctuary, which is filled with rare herbs and plants, reveals Lachlan's deeper connection to nature and serves as a symbol of his inner world. And he's a natural healer and drawing on his age old knowledge of remedies, which has been passed down for generations. Lachlan has a reputation for healing minor ailments using herbs and natural concoctions. And this skill ties him closer to the earth and showcases his nurturing side. And he's fluent in nature's language. So Lachlan can interpret the calls of certain birds and animals and his understanding of them as either being messages or omens. And this connection with nature further establishes his unique bond with the Highlands. So through his unique characteristics, these set Lachlan apart, making him not just a product of his time and environment, but also a singular figure whose experiences, knowledge and abilities provide a rich tapestry for storytelling. They anchor him deeply in the world of the Highlands, whilst also elevating him to a somewhat mythical status within the community. And that's all I have so far. So next time, we're going to start looking at some of the other characters within this story. And particularly, we're going to look at the antagonist. So let me know what you think about Lachlan as our lead character. And I will see you next time. Bye.